but if we half this again this width which is basically from here to here it remains again it remains the same so this is same from here to here it is same and from here to here it is same but as you can see this is very small this is a little bigger and this is much bigger so for second order reactions the half life is not constant so t half is not constant so you can use half life you can make these uh, you can make these blocks and you can see whether half life is constant so this will become 3t so it takes t seconds to go from 0.5 uh, sorry to go from c to 0.5c it takes another t seconds to go from 0.5c to 0.25c and it takes another t seconds to go from 0.25c to 0.125c so the half life is constant for first order but for second order the half life keeps increasing so it is not constant so if we have to relate it to the to the to to the rate constant t half which is the half life for a first order reaction is equal to ln 2 which is natural logarithm of 2 over k where k is the rate constant so the half life for a first order reaction can be calculated using this formula and similarly the rate constant can be calculated by just rearranging this formula so this becomes ln 2 over t half so we can use this this formula to calculate t half and the rate constant and uh, this is only for first order reactions this formula can only be used for first order reactions because for second order t half is not constant now we have completed everything up till now and uh, this now we will start a new topic within reaction kinetics and it is known as uh, reaction uh, the, this topic is reaction mechanisms and as the name suggests it talks about how a reaction occurs in different steps so for example if i have a a plus b b plus uh, give, giving me not plus giving me c c plus d d so i have this uh, equ reaction balanced equation for uh, for some random reaction now from this uh, from the balanced equation it looks like a and b react to form c and d simple but actually in reality this is not the case actually a and b react in steps uh, some steps take place and then the final product of all those steps is c and d so for example if it's 2a plus b gives 2c plus 2d for example just for example then it's not that two molecules of a react with one molecule of b it might be that both molecules of a react together to form an intermediate i let's label this as step 1 and then in the st second step i which was the intermediate form reacts with b to give c and d so this is step 2 so as you can see the reaction did not take place directly it happened in steps and if i had to write an overall equation for all these steps i cancel out the i's because when i add the i's are on different sides so i cancel them out so i get 2a plus b which is the overall left hand side giving me 2c plus 2d which is the overall right hand side so as you can see the reaction does not occur directly as shown by the balanced equation it occurs in steps and the steps combined together are known as the reaction mechanism so this is very important now we are studying this in rates because the different steps they have different rates so the slowest step is the slowest step in the reaction is called the rate determining step uh, rds the slowest step in the reaction and for example if for the let's just write this again 